TFAX group has a culture of empowering women to rise to the top of their career. In this video, we caught up with four amazing women. They are Patience Owangogo, Kende Odunaya, Monserrat Odedutong, and Abiola Onikoyi Yusuf. Patience Onwaogogo currently heads one of the subsidiaries known as the CFAX Steve Doreen Limited, where she oversees a company of over 300 male employees. Monserrat Odedutong, on her own part, started out as a youth copper and today she heads the credit control unit of the company. Kende Odunaya and Abiola Onikoyi Yusuf, both human resource managers at the group, also shared their unique stories of working in the company. I came into the group as a secretary. I moved to human resource and me. After about six years that I joined, and I was deployed to human resource and me as an me officer. I was promoted to assam manager, HR and admin, and I was moved to Port and Cargo to head the human resource department. From Port and Cargo, I was moved to this, this SBT as an as an assistant manager, but when I got here, I was promoted to the manager in my resource. I've worked only in accounts in CFAS. That is in Steve Dory. I've never been moved to any other I joined the CFAS group team in 2016 as a CY student. After that I was retained. My appointment was confirmed as a permanent staff as an admin officer in charge of the store. I was redeployed to CFAX Soft Talk. As a resident HR and admin staff there, I was redeployed back to the head office and on the same capacity, admin officer. And um, all HR team were split. So I was part of the team that was redeployed to Tinkan Island Port to be a resident HR here. Redeployment happens and um, I was promoted in 20, 2016 as the HR assistant manager, rest, still resident in Port and Cargo and the service. So last year, 20, oh, 2019, I was officially made the HR manager for Port and Cargo and the service. I did my internship in corporate affairs through marketing department. I was fully staffed and um, was deployed to finance department of treasury unit. Afterwards, I was deployed to cash office as a cashier. I was also deployed to credit control unit for I was deployed and um, fully started working as the acting unit head of credit control. The work schedule. Sometimes um, we have to put in extra hours. Since our operation is 24 hours, we provide 24 hour service. So, and HR supports the operations. So, at all times, the HR, when it comes to staff schedule, staff, staff attendance, HR team needs to be on ground. So, sometimes we find ourselves closing late coming weekends to finish some job to and even working from home. There are several times I had to take work home to work just to make sure that yes, we the support we ran to operation is there. So sometimes juggling family and work can be very stressful and strenuous. But you know, through mentoring, career coaching and um, networking and spouse support obviously if your spouse will support you so we've been able to as a person i've been able to overcome to the, those challenges that come with managing work life and work life balance well, and um, at least I'm say it's not a new thing here because every woman faces the same thing. Um, the issue of you know balancing work and family has not really been easy. But as a woman, you try to strike a balance to know how to you know to meet up your home and the office challenges. You shouldn't allow anyone to suffer, so to say. But I really appreciate God for his faithfulness and being able to, you know, balance the 
boat and it's not allowing anyone to suffer. Be yourself and be open for opportunities when you present themselves. Yes, other professional courses, you know, that will enhance them on their jobs, and there are different fields, then to network, let them network, let them be able to get other other ideas, get different ideas from people exposed to set themselves to a lot of things. You know, just don't they should not limit themselves, they should not be intimidated by anything. They should be bold, they should carry their job with with uh, dignity, you know, they should have earned respect, they would earn to respect even from their colleagues. Mm -hmm. They should do more for themselves, take care of them, take very good care of themselves. Any woman should be bold. You should learn to speak up. It is your voice that will speak for you. And don't say because you are a mother, you cannot get up there. No. Speak up. Let them know you are bold. Let them know you can do it. That is what will speak for you. And before you know it, you are there. Leadership is not all about being the best. Leadership is all about making someone else better. In my own opinion, I feel why women are not given opportunity in the workplace. One, it has to do with the traditional and cultural value system. It's the, the society will find ourselves believes the woman they should be at the kitchen. Decision making. Uh, the few women cannot take drastic decisions that we are too flexible. We in the weaker are very so flexible. We are not rigid when it comes to decision making. And the environmental factor. These days, things women are coming up. If you had to be like five years ago, even ten years ago, I can say something else. But now women are really coming up, but we just need to do more. You know, women are really holding leadership um, position now. In MPA, the person that is heading the MPA, the Jump Authority, she's a woman. And uh, this is the, I think he's not the largest um, uh, economy in this country. So I think women are coming up. In this place, I've seen women rising up to the uh, to leadership, leadership position. Our well, former HR was a woman. We've had GMD as a woman in this place. So I think this is women are really coming up, but they still need to do it.